Improving your photography can be challenging, especially at the start of your journey. However, there is one key element that once you understand and learn how to use it effectively, it can truly raise your photography to new heights. When you examine the works of some renowned photographers like Alex Webb, Ernst Haas, Van Ho, and many, many others, you will quickly notice that regardless of the situation they are shooting in, they are experts at using this one essential element, the light or the absence of it. A lot of people now believe that in order to get the most amazing photograph, you need to go to the most extraordinary locations with the most amazing sunsets ever witnessed by a human. Even software companies have now developed AI tools to help you replace your sky, all in the pursuit of getting more likes in social media. However, in my humble opinion, this takes from the experience of photography and makes your photo look more like everyone else's. And at the same time, it diminishes the effort and skill needed to make an extraordinary, original and unique photograph. One of the most crucial skills you need to have to be able to get these amazing photographs is to be able to comprehend and use the available light, whatever this light is, to your advantage. We need to be brave and face the truth. A good photo doesn't require the most amazing sunlight. It doesn't require hard shadows and highlights. It doesn't even require the light to be the protagonist of the shot. A good photo requires a fair use of light in which the light will elevate the story presented in it. A photo taken in dull lighting conditions can be as impactful as one taken in the most dazzling lighting. However, to achieve this first, you need to be able to see it. Here we will discuss specific examples that will illustrate how light can effectively enhance the storytelling of a photo by playing a supporting role rather than being the main focus of the image. By the end of this video, you will develop the skill to recognize and effectively utilize the available light to take your photos into the next level. I want to deliberately start with these two photos that demonstrate how the light that appears to be the protagonist of the photo is actually not. These are two of my best shots. When you first observe them, your attention is immediately drawn to the vibrant light, forming a captivating triangular shape. However, the true essence of the first photo lies beyond the dominant light. It is a subtle element that you may have noticed, but was overshadowed by the sheer power of the primary light source. This element is the rim light that emphasizes the man crossing the street. This effect occurs when the light source, the subject and your camera align perfectly, similar to a solar eclipse with the moon. In the second shot, the main light is the protagonist, but what makes the subject pop instead of being a complete silhouette is that secondary light that highlights parts of the hat and the shoulders of the subject. But let's tone down the light a bit and make sure you have subscribed to the channel with a bell. In this photo, that I'm actually calling the magic door, the gentle light that invades the shadows prevents them from turning completely black, adding depth to the narrative as they share the same intensity as our subject. From a storytelling perspective, our world is depicted with a suppressed light, while the brilliant glow originating from the door, reminiscent of the entrance to a magical realm, becomes increasingly appealing and captivating. Thus, by intentionally avoiding the harsh shadows, we have effectively amplified the impact of light and shadow in our storytelling. This doesn't mean that harsh shadows and highlights are not to be used. They ought to be used if they serve a purpose. As you hitting the like button serves the purpose of helping me to grow this channel. In this photo, for example, the harsh, almost black shadows help for these semicircles of light to be visible and work as leading elements to our subject deep in the frame. Again, the subtle reflections of light onto the wall next to the semicircles play a crucial role in giving definition to the semicircles and thus elevating the photo altogether. When light is abundant, possibilities are endless. 
But even on a dull rainy day, light is still there for you to use. In fact, light never ceases to exist. Well, I guess, except for the end of the universe, but this is a topic for another channel. In this example here, I capture photographs on a rainy day when the difference between highlights and shadows is not clearly defined. Nevertheless, I believe that in these rainy days, you can find the best lighting conditions as they create delicate gradients of light and shadows. The key here is to actually find the right spots. In this case, I was shooting a narrow alley where rooftops were casting subtle shadows resulting in certain areas appearing slightly darker. This location was near a green colored shop and the color added to the overall effect. As this person walked by with a black and red umbrella, they entered the pockets of this gentle interplay between light and shadow, providing a shot with a cinematic atmosphere. It's these subtle differences in light and shadow that contribute to the cinematic feel, not the high contrast lighting conditions. Now let's delve into darker lighting conditions. This photo was taken in the tube in the underground where we have the essence of the cinematic feel through subtle lighting. The subject's hair is beautifully illuminated by the overhead lamps while the background lighting from the distant rooftop lamps is adding definition. This gradient of light effectively separates the subject from the background, demonstrating that it's not just bokeh that holds significance. However, one of the most crucial lighting effects in this shot, although less noticeable, is the slight haze in front of the train lights. Once again, it's these hidden light effects that elevate the photo. But don't take only my word for it. Let's see some examples now from the greatest photographers that have influenced me. An excellent example of masterful use of light can be found in Ernst Haas' captivating photo collection called New York in Color and specifically in page 144. In this particular image, Ernst skillfully captures a mesmerizing backdrop of vibrant yellow and red hues, creating a striking contrast between the highlights and the shadows. However, what truly sets this photo apart for me is how he has managed to delicately use the light on his subject's face to separate it from the rest of the image. Half of the face is bathed in beautiful gradient of light, drawing attention straight to the subject while retaining an air of mystery by keeping the other half in the darkness. This intentional choice adds depth to the image, maintaining enough information for viewers to connect with the subject. Had the subject been a complete silhouette, the photo would have lost much of its appeal and intrigue. And let's see a second example now from the master of light, Alex Webb, and more specifically from his work, The Suffering of Light. In page 57 you can find, I guess, one of the most impressive and most impactful light conditions and light uses that I have ever seen. In this particular shot, the composition and color contrast are already stunning, but what truly elevates the photograph is the impeccable use of light that brilliantly illuminates the subject's right side. This not only intensifies the overall composition, but also contributes significantly to the storytelling aspect of the image. The interplay of light and subject in this masterpiece is truly awe-inspiring. Both books I'm citing here you can find linked down in the description. If your aim is to produce photographs that are on par to some of the masters of photography like Alex Webb, Ernst Haas and many many others, then harnessing the power of light, highlight, shadows, contrast becomes vital. Merely capturing a binary scene of black and highlights, although it might be captivating at first glance, falls short in achieving true impact in storytelling. You will often hear many top contemporary street photographers speaking modestly of high contrast shots, recognize them as being trivial. To truly stand out, you need to transcend the obvious observe your surroundings, understand your light, and use it in ways that will yield something genuinely distinctive. Something that truly pushes the boundaries of what we have already seen. And this is exactly what I'm saying to myself right before I go out to capture photos. I truly hope that this mindset is something that will also help you to get better photos. And if it does, 
let me know down in the comments. Watch this video next if you want to learn a method that will instantly improve your photographic composition. That was all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I will see you on the streets. Bye-bye.